Today we shall see functions in jQuery. We could write functions in two ways in jQuery. We shall see how it is. If you are familiar with some other languages like C, C++, Java or even PHP, you would already know the syntax of writing a user defined function or a custom function. Well, we have been writing this function. It is called as uh, anonymous function. Usually we used to write something here, but for now, for writing custom functions, we can write our function definition outside this document dot ready scope. So function is a keyword fun1 is the function name parenthesis inside the brackets we write we select the span tag and append function1 well actually nothing happens here because we have just written our custom function definition and we haven't used it anywhere still so to use it we need to use its name and the parenthesis indicates that it's a function the entire thing is a function call so now we are using our function using its name so instead of this we shall see how to pass parameters to functions i'll take a local variable here as txt and assign a string to it as it is a string i'll include it inside double quotes and i'll pass this txt variable to our function to receive it i'll take a local variable here it is local to our function fun1 and then append it to span so this text which we are writing here is pass it through our fun1 call function call which is sent to the function definition which is then appended to the span tag inside doc loader this is what we passed to our function instead we could also write it directly inside our function call reducing the number of line of code and we could make it look cleaner see i i'll pass passing parameters to function this could pass this parameter to txt local variable of fun1 function so it is reflecting so it's working so now we have we could write this function in another way let's see how to write it so if our function doesn't return any value we could write return false to keep the function flow the execution flow clear so another type of function is i'll take a variable called software is equal to function it's a keyword inside that i'll write my actions that is some statements to execute before that i'll take a button here with an id of name so that uh, we could show some company name once the user clicks on this button so we know the code select the button with the id name once the user clicks on it well we will call this function that is software i'll remove this line and write this inside our document dot ready once the user clicks on the button i'll select the span tag and append something i'll append technotip it solutions inside header one that is h1 tag That's it. I need to call this. So once the user clicks 
on the button i'll call so that our next line of text displays in next line i have added pr tag here so select the button with the id name once the user clicks usually we used to write some anonymous function inside this like function parenthesis and then inside bracket we would call if if it is a function we would call f u n one here but in the second type of function declaration and usage we'll just pass on this variable name here and that's it we are done open the html browser once i click i'll get technotip it solutions with a header of h1 well we have seen another type of binding that is bind inside parenthesis i'll write the event which is click next the function name which is software in our case we know we need not include parenthesis for this type of function now i'll change this to some other company names like microsoft private limited microsoft limited i've commented the first line now let's see once i click microsoft limited is printed so these are the two types of functions one thing we have left over is return type so to demonstrate that i'll take two local variables here once the user passes these two variables that is a and b value of a and b i'll add them and store inside another local variable c and then return the value of c which is result now i'll take a variable called d let me pass two values 10 and 20 which will be passed to this function and the result will be returned and stored inside the variable d now i'll print that value inside our span tag that's it this is how return value works return type works which is 30 10 plus 20 is 30 this is how we return to reduce the line of code we could also write return inside parenthesis just add the value of a and b we could do this too so this is how we write functions we have shown two types of writing the function and passing the parameters returning the values and if when there is nothing to return we need to write return false this is the standard so please practice this because we will be writing all our application using functions because of because functions help in reusability if you are doing the same tasks repeatedly in more than one place write the code inside a function and call that function this reduces the number of lines of code and helps in maintaining the clarity in our code and simplifies the logic flow and a lot more things you will learn it once you start building the applications and start using these functions so please practice this please share this video on facebook google plus twitter linkedin etc subscribe to our blog technotip.com and to our youtube channel technotip.org and please like this video on youtube